Now, Sam, you know, I, I run, last time you and I, we spoke, you said that your, your body count, meaning the women that you killed, you killed 84 women. Is that correct? Uh, 82 women and two transgenders. Okay, 82 women and two transgenders. Over a period of 50 years. Over a period of 50 years. How did the two... 19... Go ahead. 19 stuff from different cities. Miami, my first latest was in Miami, Florida. That's where all this started. Okay. Now, how, how, how did it get started? How did he get started in Miami, Florida? What made it happen? And what what month and year did it start? Well, I just come out to prison in Maryland and went down there to my mother. My mama didn't raise me, though. My mama did. My mama was living in Miami and I went down there to her. Mm -hmm. And I started going out there and digging up holes and shit down on uh, North Miami Avenue West. There's a whole stroll out there. And my first girl was an old white woman named, uh, I forget her name, but uh, she, was, she was the first victim of mine. And uh, we, was, we was going out on a date, and uh, we was fucking, and then uh, I always had the desire to strangle women and I, since I was a kid, and I never had to come through. So all of a sudden I had this young know, woman was just playing with my dick. And while I, you know, I put her hands on her neck and she let me feel her neck. And she told me, go ahead, squeeze it. Cause you know, I don't care, I like it. And I couldn't stop. I choked to death. That was the first woman. Wow. In January 1970. Okay. And I was panicked. I got you panicked. Dead body, I never realized that I was going to kill anybody. But I put drug out of my car. We were down in the swamp down there. In Miami was a good alligator, close to Alligator Alley. I drove her back into the Greens and uh, left her there. I didn't ran and got the car, went home. And then the next morning, I was thinking about it. I went back out there where she was laying. And then she was still laying there. Weeds, same way I left her. And I, and I had dug a shovel with me. I dug a little grave and put her in the grave. And I read in the paper where a foot was sticking out of the grave and a dog was running around with his master and was putting that in her leg and her foot. And the, and the man found her body that way. That was the first one that I ever done. Now, and I, I was. How old were you when you killed her? How old? She was 40, about 40, I think she, uh, I forget her name, Elmo, I think. She was 40, about 42 years old. How old, old. How old were you? How old were you? How old were you? 1970, I was 30. Okay. Okay. What no. I said, I had that desire all since I was about six. Back in 1946, 45, I, was, I had that desire of woman's sex. For some reason, I had that strange desire. Even you know, in school, I used to look at my teachers all day. And dick would get hard just looking at me, thanks. <laughs> and I don't know what was wrong. And I'm so bad, I got that so bad. And for so long, I didn't kill no women. I just jacked off. I get magazines and women showing their long necks and jack off on me. And that was something that I don't know how to tell nobody. But I didn't do that. And that's why it was took so long for me to kill one. Because I was satisfied just going through 10 of magazines picking girls up and masturbating over. And that lasted for years until I got. That one woman came up in car. How did you finally get on the police radar and get caught? I was in Miami. I mean, I was in Los Angeles. 
Kevin and uh, I had a black girl and a white girl named uh, Audrey Nelson and a Mexican named Tokodaka. And I killed them three in 87. And then we, I got away because the DNA came out. They still had some... This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Mm -hmm. And they, at the corner, had the clothing of these three dead girls. And uh, the DNA, they matched it with mine. Which they had my DNA on the database. And they matched it. It took years to do it. But they matched my DNA with the... I don't know if they talk about it. My DNA was on the clothes, they call it drifting DNA. Mm -hmm. And as they started looking for me, I was in Kentucky somewhere. And they finally hit upon a match. And they brought me back to Los Angeles in 19, in 2012. It was, just, it was 20 years before they caught me. You and I, we talked a little bit. Let's go back to your childhood. No problem, man. I got you covered, Sam. I'm gonna take. Matter of fact, when we get off the phone, I'm gonna call up. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna do it with my credit card and put it on through my credit card so I can get Let's you taken call. care of. Your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. You uh, know, so yeah, I, you have to do that. You got to use that. You don't have to, but JPay. You heard of them? Yeah, that's what I use JPay all the time. So I'm gonna go through JPay and put the money on your books. Okay. Yeah. All right, then, I'm going uh, to try to get back with you in the, in the morning, but uh, you'll be there all, all day, won't you? Most definitely. This my this my cell phone you calling, so you good. Don't you worry. Oh. You good. Oh, okay. So, all like, right. But let me let me take care of that money first. I want to do that in good faith. Now, I was, I was looking up some stuff. I'll say, it says you... From 1970 to 2005, you ki you killed women from th yeah. for 30 years. It took 30 right. years. You killed your last woman. Yeah. Oh, it's 50. I, I, I counted 52, right? And, um... Oh, it, yeah. Okay, just... We're going to say this. In, in, in 2005, you were 65 years old when you killed your last victim. Right. And um the young lady who you killed her, her name was Nancy. Yes, yes, Nancy. Nancy Steve was that Nancy Stevens? She was from uh Decatur, Alabama. Okay. I think yeah, I had a mobile 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 travel we call mobile home then. And I had two girls in that herd of what's her name, big old fat girl. We dropped the fat gal off in Huntsville. And uh, Nancy was, well, I'm getting Nancy's last name. Stevens. Nancy, it, 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 Nancy, Nancy Stevens. That's the last name. You, know, you, check, you do your homework, ain't you? Yes, sir, brother. Okay. All right, so we got all headed toward the west. We stopped over in Mississippi. That's where, you know, thank God. I, I, that's just what. That's where, that's where I killed her at, down there in Tubalo, Tubalo, Mississippi, right outside of Starkville. And we had had a argument, and then we was always thinking we had to go way out of sex anyway. I love to play with that neck, and she liked it, and she was thought she didn't know that I was going to, you know, go all the way with her. And when she, when she did, uh, she died of being the motor home. Wow. And, uh, yeah, and I 
and that's my last baby. I never get up. Yeah, she was 40, I think she was 49. I went in Walmart, I was professional shoplifter too. Mm -hmm. I went in Walmart, bought, bought a dress and some panties and everything, and that's the last clothes she put on. Was that, was that, you know, and when she was hot tempered. And I never get it. We had this wild sex though before she died. Wow. And uh, she was she was getting her kicks off. But see she did I mean the thing about that is I was I was sex was always strangulation. Was it by the kind of women I had they 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 they, they was freakish for that. They wanted the power of a man on their throat, controlling their breath, and freaking off, jacking your dick off at the same time. And that's it. when she be getting the kicks off, like the one I got now that I can't even get to, Crystal. She sent me pictures with her hand around her neck, <laughs> telling me how strong she wants my hand to feel. I see you want me to send a picture to you? Yes. <laughs> but don't shoot. Dude, oh no, because you going to put it out. You ain't got to send me the, the actual. Send me, man, send me a couple of your drawings because I saw some of your drawings. And man, you are. Oh, now, nah, wait, 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 wait. Now, them drawings, I'll be charging $100 for them. The people, I, mean, I got customers that take them. But, I, but it won't be, you know, drawings, man. You know. I. And I've seen you some photographs, uh, uh, like I said, of the girl that I'm going with. I got two going with me. I met one, Crystal is one that loves to get, uh, to get choked. And Jillian is just, she loves to, to tell about it. Okay. And she gets her nuts off by me explaining, expressing what we going to what we going to do about was out of here. And I was gonna send you a picture of them. Okay. But they photographed. They ain't paintings. Okay. Now, now, now let if me. If you want some photograph, if you want some photograph, I mean, if you want some paintings, I could do paintings for you. I work, but these people here are real strictly jealous. They don't want me to be charging no money, doing no business over what they call crime. Right. So, so what you what I gotta do? Don't mention nobody. Just mention donations. Okay. Yeah, I would. I I like give you a donation of a hundred dollars. Yep. And then I know what you mean. No you know problem. I mean? Or, or I just yeah, say I'm sending. Or I just say I'm sending you a care package. And I can't put their victims' names. Now, I can tell you who the names are. But I can't write them down on the pictures because they they don't want that either. Okay. Now, now, so what what what? Do you want me to draw the artwork for you? Just tell me which one you want to want me to draw. No, no, draw no problem. Now let me ask you another um, question because I I read about this. And, I, and you was a, hey Sam, you a smooth motherfucker, man. And I'm going to give you that. When I say you's a smooth motherfucker, you take that as a compliment. Now, in, on August 12th, 1982, you, in, you were in Ocala, Florida. You met a woman named Rosie Hill. You had choked her out and the police pulled up on you. What happened during that? You was behind a, a building. What happened? Yeah. We was back there. Uh... I had already killed her, my baby. We was back there freaking off. And uh, we got killed. I got uh, over, over, over dead. And she was already mad about uh, some other dude. And anyway, I just get, and I just got to strangle her. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. And the police pull up. Pitch black out there behind that furniture store building. And the police pulled up with the blue lights flashing, and I'm in there on top of her. And she had just uh, defunct, de deceased. And 
time in the car, I played that. He said, "Was not you back in there breaking in his door?" I said, "No, me and my wife just back here having sex." And I thought I was through. And he walked up and he shined his light in there on the road, and she was laying down in the. I had old Pinto there in the station wagon I was used for work car. Uh, she was laying down there with no clothes on. And the police, I guess he would just want us, me to think he was trying to look at her. So he didn't say nothing. He said, you guys got to get out of here. <laughs> I said, okay, boss. <laughs> Man, you told me something. <laughs> Man, I jumped in that damn car and, I just knew you was gonna pull me over when I, once I got on the street. <laughs> when, when, when I got on, the, when I got on the street, he went one way and I went the other. And I said, "No, oh, that was a close call." Damn! And I had another, one, and there was another close call like that. God was with me on on another one. That was in Mobile, Alabama. Mm -hmm. I had a girl down there. I met in the bar, and we was playing up under the table and stuff. And uh, she got hot and wanted to get freakish. So I said, well, we got to go on and find another spot. So we went down there in the, in, in the, in the, where the canals and the alligators and everything in that little pools in Montreal. And uh, a park. And, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, this is, I, this is the time I killed two girls in one night. Not her, it was the other girl. I took her, I was in the motel with my old lady, but I took this girl out in the bayou. And the police come back behind that house, that building, and, I, and cut the light. I jumped out and act like I was living my clothes up. And he said, what you doing back here? You're breaking the same deal. And I just know that I was gone. <laughs> but you see me zip my pants up, so he fell for that. I said, me and my wife back and having sex, man, that's all. So y'all can't stay back here and do that. You got to get out of here. Same thing happened. And I was sweating my ass off there. And I got off the, and got in that lever. That was, she was still in the car. I did, we drove off past the police. I owned the highway. And uh, I found a spot to drop her off in there in the woods. And that's where she was at for um, a whole month before they found her. Wow. Now, now let me ask you a question. Any of the women that you dropped off, did you ever go back and, and, and look and visit them? Or you, you after you dropped them, you was gone? No, I never went back in to visit none of them in this spot. I keep up with the news newspapers or the TV to see if they found their bodies and what all kind of evidence they talked about and who it was and all that. So it, and I always took, kept, kept track of them like that. But I never wanted to go back and see the bodies because I never want, wanted to see what I had done to the babies and to that girl, you know. I, I called her my babies, my girlfriends. Right. And, my, and uh, I didn't want to see them again, man, because I'd be hurt inside. But I know they was hoes, and they love to get fucking, they like to get their ass kicked, but they didn't, you know. But still, I was wrong, you know. Although I was having a crazy sexual desire, and, and most of the time I would find a girl, a hoe, out on the street was like me. They had sexual desire and was freaking. You have 60 seconds remaining. And that's why, that's the kind of women I was dealing with. And that's why I didn't get caught for 50 years. Wow. That's amazing. That, that, that's, that's amazing. So have, have any of the family members of these women wrote you a letter and tried to reach out to you while you was locked up? Huh? Have any of the family members of these women tried to reach out to you while you was locked up? Oh, uh, 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 no, but I sent my book writer over to Barbara Wright. That's where my girl stayed in the, with the boat hall with me. And I used to choke on her. And, and I told, I told uh, my book writer to go over and interview her. And she'll tell you how I used to grab her by the neck and stuff. But uh, she never 
never reached out to me, no. But my 